Yeah. When I say to you that I give my advice. What the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little minute, but I'm back and I'm better. I don't know about really being back and better, but I just like that because I know it's the song, right? I'm back and I'm better. I want that ever. Okay, seriously though, welcome back. Um, it's 2018, new year, new me. Not really a new me, a better me. I say new year, better me. But today I just wanted to come and give out some positive energy to everyone. I just want to wish everyone a happy new year, even though it's a few days late into the new year, but whatever. Happy new year, everyone. So yeah, as you can see from the title, uh, I'm going to be giving out five tips to just to start your year off positive, uh, we want to make 2018 our year, not just my year, it's going to be our year, of course. So let's do this. So the first one is going to be set goals and write it down. I don't really do New Year's resolutions, but I get a notebook and I write my goals down. Anything that I want to accomplish, big, small, it doesn't matter. I write everything down. It's something about writing it down and looking at it versus it just being in your head. And it just makes you really want to accomplish it. So this is my little 2018 book. So cute, right? Mm. I got it from Walmart for $1.88. Quick story. So... One of my goals, of course, is to um, save more money. And they had this cute little furry book. And it was like, you know how the fur is in. So it had like the cutest little furry book. It was $4.88, which, okay, it's five bucks. But this book was only $1.88. So I had to sit there with them in my hand thinking, okay, it's 2018. I said, I'm going to save more, you know, not spend unnecessarily. So I got this book for $2 cheaper or $3 cheaper. But it was, it's really cute anyway. So yeah, I get this book. I'm going to write down on my first page. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. I started writing some of my goals. It takes me a little while um, because I want to make sure that I write all the right goals that, you know, I, I really think about them and not just write crazy goals that I'm really not even going to try to accomplish. And all throughout the year, I write anything that new, um, if I have a new goal, um, if I accomplish a goal, if I have a step that may get me towards the goal, I write everything in this book. So I, at the end of the year, I look through it. So my second tip for starting your year off positive is going to be focusing on your health because your health is everything. If you don't have your health, what's the alternative? you're dead <laughs> no seriously though um i i'm only um five seven and i weigh about 145 pounds so i'm smaller but i've had high cholesterol because fast food is my weakness um i have to cut it out period so this year i'm not focusing on fast food not that i focus on it but i'm just not going to even allow it to take over my brain I'm going when I think about fast food I think about okay what's an alternative that's my personal thing but you know you want to focus on your health um, not drinking pop drinking more water uh, exercising that's extremely important you know having a regular routine so yeah, focus on your health. Um, health is wealth. If you are healthy from the inside, you're going to feel better on the outside. And that's uh, honest. I don't know where these hiccups just came from, but whatever. So my third tip for starting positive and having a good start to 2018 is read more. Uh, I read a lot now. I used to not read at all. I'm actually reading this awesome book. It's called The Rewired Brain, and it's by Dr. Ski Chilton. It's awesome. Free yourself of negative behaviors and release your best self. It's an amazing book. I don't know. You have to get it. I literally got this book for $2.99 at Ollie's. The best $2.99 I've spent in a long time because the book is amazing. So yeah, you just want to read more. You know, you might read something that has nothing to do with anything that you do or whatever, 
and it just makes your mind open up to things that you've never thought about. So I definitely encourage reading more. Make that your goal. So my fourth tip for starting this year off positive and just in having an amazing year is to get rid of something that is not benefiting your life. Whether that is cigarettes for my cigarette smokers, whether that is fast food, whether it is uh, your partner, um, you know, anything that is not adding to your life, if it's stressing you out, if it's not bringing any positivity to you, get rid of it, let it go. You don't need that shit. It may be social media for some of us, you know, social media takes over our mind so much. So social media does have its positive things, but if you're someone that is just on there all the time, with no purpose, you know, try giving it up for a month. You know, give up something that's not as adding to you. My last but not least tip for starting off 2018 right is focus on you. Focus on you. Whatever it is that makes you happy, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, Whatever it is that you want, go get it. You know, I understand that we sometimes want to help others and you should always help others. Don't feel like, you know, you shouldn't be there for someone else, but also put yourself first. The only way that you're going to make this your year is if you focus on you and what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. All of these things go hand in hand. If you're focusing on you, you can get, if you get rid of that thing that's holding you back and not benefiting you, you're going to be able to focus that time onto yourself. Instead of smoking that cigarette, you can go read a book. Mm, it all fits together. Hope you all really listen to these tips. Write them down. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, make sure to give a thumbs up if you like the video. And we are going to be doing weekly videos here now. So make sure, make sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss everything that I have coming. Um, I'm just going to really pour into you guys a lot of positive things this year. And yeah, we're going to make it our year. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to subscribe.